So here we have our handmade earthen casina and the actual process of shaping clay or the materials that you can get for your retreat are important actually to the absorption of this feeling of the earth. So with our bare hands, we're going to shape some clay. And this is a way of, it is a meditation in itself. It's manual meditation. Your hands are involved in this very process. You're highly conscious of the resistance of this earth or clay, and you are absorbed. It takes your attention to shape this clay. It's already a meditation. It's already an absorption. It's also uh, involving your body as well. It's bodily meditation. It is like walking meditation. You're just using your hands. This is mindfulness in motion, mindfulness in action. There are a number of different meditations recommended by the Buddha, which are conducted while the body is in motion. So we can be fully present and aware while we're actually shaping this clay casino. It is not merely a means to an end, it's an end in itself, this process. We can observe ourselves while we're doing it. Not everybody, of course, is experienced potter. This will be a new experience for many people. Enjoy it. Note if you become a little frustrated or if you're hoping to produce a perfect casino or feel self-doubt that you, you don't know how to do it, note this. And don't simply note it, but release your mind from these kind of hindrances and doubts and worries. Just do it. You will do it as well as you can. There is nothing to worry about, there is no failure, and there is no success. You're just doing it. It is for your own sake, and congratulations that you are taking care of yourself. We're frequently told that we should be taking care of others and forgetting ourselves, but it doesn't work for very long. If you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of anybody else. This process, making the casino, can be a, a full absorption, very enjoyable. And it will be of service to you for perhaps a long time. So we engage completely without any bringing any worldly expectations to it. It won't be on display at a museum. You won't be judged on your casino. It is for you and you alone. And it's merely a device to help you along. The external device can never be perfect. It is only the internalization of this process that will ever become perfect. It's only when you absorb it fully into your mind and are able to fully apprehend it with the mind that it will break out of its worldly condition into a crystalline perfection as the mind is focused So the, the disc itself is approximately circular. It is earthen. It is solid. 
the hands are absorbing the whole experience. And eventually you will sit with it in front of you. And you will just lucidly use your vision to see it, sustained apprehension of it through the sight. And eventually you will internalize it and be able to bring your mind to this earth casino. And then it will be yours within you. As you do this, and you just walk around wherever you are, you will start to have a heightened sense of solidity and earthiness. You will, even the floor, as you walk across the floor in your stocking feet or your bare feet or in your shoes, you will suddenly be much more conscious of the earth, the solidity element. And that is good. It is something to actually pay attention to. It's such a simple thing. The source of our real joy, clarity, and well-being is in simplicity and absorption. In this very world we live in, with these simple elements that constitute us, the most obvious one being this earth itself, solidity itself. We feel it, we feel it with our fingers, with our hands, on a daily basis, constantly. We are exploring the solid element through our hands and through our vision. And when we have perfected this, when we have perfected this disc and it is good enough, we leave it. We don't become uh, excessively perfectionist. We just find good enough. Perfection arises in your mind, in your mind's eye. And it's the only place where such a thing can arise. It's your full attention to the, the casino disc, which is where the joy arises. The hindrances, the problems, the psychic irritants drop away when you're totally absorbed, even in the making of the disc. It can be a wonderfully joyful experience, and then a recollection of it, visualization of it, can create a great sense of sustained joy. So let us follow this ancient process, which is fully described in the commentaries. So then we have the disc in front of us in a quiet, secluded place. And we absorb it through our sight. And we absorb it into our mind as an after image. And the more the mind focuses, the clearer the image becomes. Until it completely absorbs us, time disappears. We can contract the image, we can make it smaller. This puts a greater demand on our attention and at the same time is more of a joyful experience if we can manage it. 